Hey, hey guys, it's Nick from Part-Time Pilot. Yes, there's another VOR video coming, and this is all about intercepting VOR radial. So if you know you want to travel along a specific radial on a VOR, but you're not on that radial, how do you track to that VOR and then get on the radial and travel along it? So that's called intercepting a VOR. And this is a great way to use as a route uh, they're actually, you know, Victor Airways use VORs, so it's a great way to travel cross country and use these. So we got to figure out how we intercept these routes and how we get on them efficiently and effectively. So to do this, the first thing you'll need to do is intercept the radial you wish to use as your route. So whether or not we're traveling to the VOR station or away from the VOR station, we want to dial in the VOR to a radial that will match our heading. Again, whether we're heading to the VOR or away from the VOR. So in this example, our desired heading is 330. So we wanna dial in 330 as our heading because the reason we wanna do this is we wanna travel in the same heading, and I've talked about this in previous videos, in the same heading as what's entered in our VOR so that we don't have reverse sensing of our needle when you're traveling the same direction, you're in the same heading as your VOR, your needle is going to have direct sensing or normal sensing. And that means a needle to the left means you need to turn to the left and a needle to the right means you need to turn to the right to get back on course. And it just makes it a lot easier. Reverse sensing can really confuse things. So if we were traveling, if, we, if our aircraft was over here and we wanted to travel to the station on, along this route, we would still, put in 330 even though technically we'd be on this radial here on the blue side we'd want to put in 330 because our heading is going to be 330 and we want that to match so that we have again direct sensing so step one we dialed in our VOR to a heading of 330 and then we're going to want to turn to that same heading so if our aircraft's over here we've dialed in our VOR to 330 because we know we want to we want to intercept this 330 radial. Then step two, we're going to turn our aircraft to that heading. So even though we're not over here on the radial, we're, we want to turn to that heading so that we're our heading now matches what we have on our radial. And then we're going to observe which side of the VOR the white needle is pointing and turn 90 degrees in that direction. So now that we're pointed in the same direction as our radial, we're pointed in 330 because we change our heading to that and that's what we have dialed into our VOR. Now we have direct sensing of our needle so when we see the needle off to the left which we see over here that means we need to turn left to get back on course. So we could turn left just a little bit and eventually wait for the needle to center or the quickest way and the way I prefer is to simply just make a 90 degree left turn so we turn immediately 90 degrees and that will much quicker get us on this radial. And then we simply continue on this heading after turning until we see the needle center. So this needle is gonna start off to the left and it's going to slowly, slowly, slowly center to be vertical up and down. And so that's what we wait for. And when that happens, we can kind of see and anticipate that once it gets real close to being centered, we again turn back on to our heading of 330 and now we are traveling and we've intercepted that radial on 330 and now we can just watch the needle make sure it's centered if it goes off to the left we turn left if it goes off to the right a little bit we turn right until it recenters, and we recorrect ourselves back onto the course so and the last thing i'll say is if we started over here in the blue it would still be the same steps the only thing that changed is we would have a two indication because we're on the side opposite our radial in the blue area. So we're on the two side. So we'd have a two indication. And what we would do, we would turn to our heading of 330. We would then see that our needle is off to the left. So we would want to turn left because it's direct sensing because we're facing the same heading as what's dialed into our VOR. So we would make a 90 degree turn left. Our needle would center. Once it centers, we turn back to 330, and then we would have a two indication until we cross over the VOR station, and then we would go from two to 
to or from once we are in the screen, but we just continue on making sure we're staying on the 330 radial by keeping that needle centered until we get to our next checkpoint or our next turn. Let's see what this looks like in an animation so that you can get a grasp of it visually how you intercept these radials. So let's see a visualization of an aircraft intercepting and tracking a VOR radial. In this example, we want to track the three three. We want to intercept and track the three three zero radial. So we have an aircraft here in the blue. That's the two side. We're pointed in three three zero direction, but we're opposite from the three three zero radial. So we're on the blue side, which is the two side. So our VOR radial indicates a two indication with our needle to the left. Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to point your aircraft in the same direction, the same heading as what you have dialed into your VOR of 330. That way you'll be normal sensing, you won't be reverse sensing, and a needle to the left will mean to turn to the left to get back in course, and a needle to the right will mean turn right to get back in course. Once your aircraft is aligned to 330 of what you have dialed into your VR, the next thing you want to do is look at your instrument and look at the needle. Now the needle here is to the left. That means we need to turn to the left to get back on course. That means we're off course to the right, which you can see in our aircraft here. And the next thing you want to do after that is you want to turn 90 degrees in that direction that your needle is telling you. That would be to the left. So 90 degrees to the left would be to 240. Now as you do this, you can see the needle is starting to center. And as it gets to the center, then you want to roll back out to 330. And when you do that, you will now have intercepted the radial that you want and you'll be tracking the 330 radial. Now let's watch this again a little bit faster. We turn to the left and then needle gets closer and then we roll out right on that 330 radial. So here again, we're gonna intercept the 330 radial, but this time we're gonna start off on the west side of the radial. And as you can see from our VR instrument, we have a needle to the right, which means we need to turn right to get back on course because, and this is only because we're pointed in the direction of 330, which is the same as what we have dialed in on our VOR. If we had 150 dialed into our VOR, it would mean the opposite. A needle to the right would mean we need to turn to the left. This is called reverse sensing. It's confusing for me, so I always point my heading in the same direction as what I have on the VOR for that normal sensing. So here, the same procedure. We turn right 90 degrees to, what, to 060. Then as that needle gets centered, we turn back to 330. Now we're traveling on 330, and we'll go from the to side to the from side, tracking on that VOR. All right. Thanks for watching. That's been Intercepting VORs. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, comment below.